If you have the ApoE4 gene or if your blood tests show early signs of neural inflammation, what can you do? First and foremost, you want to control blood sugar and insulin resistance. Keep your fasting glucose levels below 90 milligrams per deciliter. You want to keep your fasting insulin below 5. So you want to prioritize a low glycemic diet. You want to optimize your omega-3 intake. Cut out ultra-processed foods and seed oils to an extent. Next on the list is protect your brain energy metabolism. The brain's main energy source is glucose. So it uses glucose as its main energy source to produce everything, but it actually uses ketones more effectively. But the problem is we have more glucose in our blood than what we do ketones, unless we're on a ketogenic diet or we're in a state of ketosis. So ketogenic diets and fasting may help ApoE4 carriers by shifting the brain's energy source from glucose to ketones. Next on the list is obviously optimizing sleep and stress. The last four hours of sleep is the most important. You really want to bank on deep sleep because deep sleep is where we get the activation of our glymphatic system. And the glymphatic system is what is going to clear out all of the amyloid proteins that build up during the day. So you're pretty much going to wash your brain. Every single one of these interventions is within your control. The earlier you start, the greater your chances of preventing cognitive decline.